प्रीमोशन एंड एस प्रीमोशन सर्विसेज सो गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माई यूट्यूब क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ वी एम ए वर्चुअलाइजेशन एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू वी मोशन एंड एस वी मोशन सर्विसेज विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट मीन्स थेरेटिकल पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो विल इम्प्लीमेंट द वी मोशन यू कैन से दैट माइग्रेशन फ्रॉम वन ई एस एक्स आई टू अनदर ई एस एक्स आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोरेज माइग्रेशन एंड virtual migration with proper practical so first of all we need to understand about the prerequisites and uh, we also need to know about the setup required for the v motion and sb motion so need to understand about the concept and theoretical part first so in case of v motion or sb motion as per the name suggests which is help us to migrate the resource migrate the virtual machine from one esxi host to another esxi okay so for this particular practical what you need to do uh, at least you need to establish two different esxi host right and esxi host should be a part of uh, vcenter server vcenter server or appliance and uh, your environment must be contain at least two different shared storage which is mandatory if you want to perform the task of sb motion storage uh, migration so at least two different shared storage required for the practical purpose so what i did uh, in our case i have already installed two different esxi esxi host 1 and esxi host 2 right and both esxi are part of vcenter server okay and every esxi contain two different share storage okay share storage 1 and share storage 2 and this is our v center server fine so uh, in case of v motion let's try to understand about the concept how v motion can perform the task so basically as per the name suggests the work of v motion is basically uh, give me one minute guys uh in case of v motion services what exactly happen uh for example you created a one virtual machine in esxi host 1 this is the virtual machine which is available in esxi host 1 and storage share storage one as well fine and due to some reason due to uh, maximum usage of cpu or ram of esxi host 1 you want to migrate this particular virtual machine to esxi host 2 right it's a manual activity you need to perform the task manually so when you migrate when you migrate your virtual machine from one esxi to another esxi host in our environment which is considered as a v motion right and second important part if we talk about the sb motion so as per the name suggest for example we have a two different shared storage share storage 1 and share storage 2 okay you establish two different share storage in our virtual environment like this and unfortunately the virtual machine which is a part of share storage 1 you don't want to migrate the vm right in case of sb motion you don't want to migrate the virtual machine you just want to migrate the uh, virtual machine's file from one share storage to another share storage correct so as we discussed before whenever we create a virtual machine vmware can create a multiple virtual file for every vms so in this case you are just migrating the files of uh, our virtual machine that we created so your resource still available in esxi host 1 but your database database in the sense the virtual files which is automatically created when you create the virtual machine you want to migrate only and only the data file or virtual machines file which is considered as a sv motion is it correct and third important part both you want to migrate both services so you can find sv motion and v motion means you want to migrate the virtual machine from one esxi to another esxi and in case of sv motion you also need you also want to migrate the data files or virtual uh, files from one storage to another storage So guys this is all about the migration this is all about the v motion and sv motion and we also understand about the concept of uh, 
means a prerequisite you must need to establish two different ESXi hosts both ESXi should be a part of vCenter server or appliance and every ESXi at least contain two different uh, shared storage I'm going to show you the complete step how you can manage the environment for the vCenter uh, for uh, vMotion and SV Motion services right so in our case um, as we discussed two different ESXi host available but first of all I need to log in my vCenter server so this is our vCenter server I'm just going to log in it the default username as we know that administrator at the rate vSphere.local and the password that you configure while installation we need to open the vCenter server inventory and uh, our ESXi available in different different uh, VMware workstation okay so our ESXi uh, vCenter server IP address is 192.168.1.250 and uh, let's try to understand about we have already discussed about how we can add ESXi host in our data, sto data store our data center so in our case I have already created a one data center with name of class data center no use of cluster no need to use the cluster in case of migration or uh, uh, you can say that in case of uh, vMotion or SVMotion not required to establish a cluster in our environment so I'm just going to remove the cluster because we need to add the entire virtual machine and ESXi in data center because the option of migration which is a part of our uh, virtual machines property actually I'll try to give you the complete information about the cluster separately for the HA and DRS that's why I'm just, uh, I deleted the cluster from our vCenter environment we have a one data store data center just need to add the both ESXi so in our case uh, uh, one ESXi which is contained the IP address of 192.168.1.76 okay so this is ESXi host one type the user ID and password okay and second ESXi that I created the IP address of second ESXi is 192.168.1.175 192.168.1.175 this is another ESXi host provide the username and password okay so we successfully proceeded to connect both virtual machine in the same vCenter server so guys this is our vCenter server data storage data center and another option is related to the ESXi actually I haven't configured the name resolution for these two different ESXi that's why we need to uh, we are able to see it as uh, with the IP address of our ESXi host the first uh, requirement you need to connect your both ESXi to vCenter server or data center and second important part both vCenter both ESXi should be contained at least two different shared storage because we are trying to understand about the concept of uh, vMotion and SVMotion so need to verify just need to select uh, our uh, ESXi host go to the action uh, you just need to click on configure under the configuration panel we have a data storage storage devices just need to click here and it gives you the complete information about the number of storage that you connected so in our case I have already added two different shared storage one with the help of uh, NFS and another with the help of uh, ISKJ protocol as it is you need to verify so NFS storage which is contained up to 9 gig of space and share one that I shared with the help of uh, IceKG which is contained up to 20 gig of space only for the testing purpose as it is in case of 175 both uh, share storage are connected in our first ESXi as well so I'm just going to create one virtual machine in any ESXi it's not mandatory to create in uh, ESXi host 1 or 2 
So I'm going to create one virtual machine in our ESXi2 means 192.168.1.175. R 176 create a one dummy virtual machine type the name of your VM like in our case I'm just going to proceed with name of Windows 10 and second important part you must need to use the shared storage right so if you want to perform the task of SV motion so your virtual machine should be a part of uh, shared storage so I'm going to put it into uh, share one which is uh, uh, configured with the help of ISKZ 18 point something gig space free available just need to proceed next and next no need to make any changes we will configure hardware manually no need to proceed with 40 gig of space just provide the 15 gig space about the RAM so 2 gig is enough for Windows 10 operating system okay so in case of storage we try to provide the 15 gig space and hard disk should be a part of thin provision as we discussed in case of thin provision it can manage the storage as per the requirement click next and finish and as we know that we there are no operating systems are available in our virtual machine that we proceeded uh, but i'll give you the information means i'll give you the uh, procedure how you can migrate the virtual machine if your VM contain the operating system not an issue in both cases you need to follow the same steps so now click on data storage data center and uh, select virtual machine so we have a two different virtual machine which is a part of ESXi 175 and you want to verify so just need to click on a uh, host and it will inform you about the number of VMs that you created so in ESXi2 means 176 contain two different virtual machine VCSA which is our appliance and another is Windows 10 operating system that we just created and in case of 175 there are no virtual machines are available right so I'm planning to migrate I'm planning to migrate our virtual machine or uh, want to use the vMotion services to migrate our Windows 10 machine from ESXi host uh, 2 to 1 right so another important part if we talk about the storage which is used by our virtual machine so you just need to uh, click on virtual machine select vm go to the data store right just need to click on data store the virtual machine which is a part of share one right so esxi which is available in 176 and the virtual machines which is available uh, virtual machine which is available in 176 and the virtual machines contain by the share storage one so firstly need to know about the vmotion right click on your virtual machine we are able to find the option of migrate just need to click here four different options are available one is change compute resources which is considered as a vmotion because in this case you are able to migrate only the virtual machine data, st data storage that you use for the virtual machine are same you just need to change the resources means esxi Change storage, which is considered as a SV motion. Change both computer and resource, compute resource and uh, storage, which is considered as a V motion plus SV motion. Uh, cross vCenter export. Uh, it's a new feature which is added by VMware from ESXi from ESXi or vCenter 6.7. So in this case, if you have a multiple vCenter server, you want to migrate, you want to perform the migration task. So that time you need to help. Uh, you need to proceed with this particular option. So I'm going to proceed with the change compute resource only click next it will give you the complete information the number of ESXi which is available so currently our virtual machine available in ESXi uh, 176 I want to migrate it into 175 right click next no need to make any changes I'm going to use the default network because we haven't uh, created any uh, distributed switch or port group so I'm going to proceed with same next uh, Windows 10 is our operating system, 175 is our next ESXi host IP address. Migration is in progress. Now your virtual machine is successfully moved from uh, ESXi 1 to ESXi 2. Clear? This is considered as a V motion. If we talk about SV motion, so your virtual machine is still available. Your virtual machine's files are still available on ESXi, on, on shared storage 1. Is it clear? I hope you all of you understand, right? 
next talk about the share storage means SV motion. So in case of, of SV motion, just need to right click on your VM, click migrate, change storage only. That's it. Just need to click on change storage only. Next. You don't want to change the virtual machines ESXi, you want to change the backend of storage. I want to put it into the NFS, but make sure you have enough space to contain the virtual machine, right? So I'm going to proceed with the NFS. Next and finish. Okay, so you don't have enough space because you selected a 15 GB of space and uh, unfortunately in your share storage NFS, you have only I think 8 to 10 gig of space that's why you are able to do that but in your case if you have enough space definitely you are able to migrate the uh, virtual machines file from one data store to another so this is all about the share storage uh, this is all about the vmotion and svmotion i hope you all of you understand about the concept and a practical step as well let me know if you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll definitely try to reach, reach your comment and uh, reply so Thank you guys and please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Uh, we'll connect soon with another video. Take care guys and bye bye.